Hello folks and welcome back to Siberia 2. In this video we're going to go into the dream. This right here is a lemming. That's what this is. And this is the ice tunnel that he built to protect himself from predators. If you read the book, you would have learned this. This is in the book. Lemmings congregate on the open plains of Siberia. They feed on grains and small fruit that they store in their holes to face the scarcity of the winter. Months ahead, lemmings dig deep tunnels in the ice to escape their predators. The hunters, they most fear are harfangs who seem to find lemmings something of a delicacy. Oh way, harfangs eat lemmings. That's what this is. It's is the lemmings ice tunnel. Uh, we're gonna go visit the spirit lady right now. to her I found the fruit of the spirit door you want go no doubting miss walker if it's the only way to bring back haunts <laughs> good very good took to Okay, now we're in the dream. 
this is the cave where Hans found the doll. And that's all that's in the cave is the doll. Hello. Hello, miss. My name's Kate Walker, and I come from New York. I'm Anna. Anna Vorlberg. I live here, in Valadilen. Are you Anna Vorlberg? Yes, miss. Vorlberg like... Like my father, Rodolf Vorlberg. Hans Vorlberg and yourself are of the same family? Uh, uh, yes, or, uh, rather, um, I don't know. You are or you aren't. He's my friend, you know? Hans has no friends, miss. I would like to meet your father, Anna. At this time of day, he should be at home. Otherwise, he's always at the factory. Visitors aren't permitted to enter, though. Anna, do you know who this doll belongs to? No. But I know someone who'd definitely be interested in it. Uh, Are we near Valadilen? Yes, the town is down below. It's where I live with my father and brother. You know the Vorlberg factory? Yes, it belongs to our family. Have you got a brother? Yes, but my father prefers me not to talk about him. Why not? Well, since his accident, my brother has changed. What's changed? Well, what's changed is that he is... I still love him, though. Where is he? Father sent him to the attic. He often punishes him. Hans does the most foolish things. Oh, he must be real unhappy. Not at all. He gets a bit of peace up there. He invents automatons. Ones with no discipline, no method, as father might say. See you soon. See you, miss. Let's see. Let's talk to her Hello. Again. Hello, miss. Do you know where Hans is? As usual, when he's at home, he's in the attic. The big building next to the factory. Where is your father? If he's not at the factory, he's resting at home. See you soon. See you, miss. Yes, yeah, you can come back to her if you want and get the time to set the clock but since we already know it we don't have to do that I don't think we do I 
You can explore the Valley View Lane if you want. You're not going to discover anything. Most of the past leads to dead ends. All these paths lead to dead ends as well. We can go over here. See, it's leased to the factory, but it won't, you can't enter the factory. So it goes this way. This goes to the house. No, you can't go around it the attic oh well oh, this way oh, this way I talk to the father please Mr. Wahlberg, sir. Ah, you're the new chambermaid, I presume. Well, it's about time. I'll be giving you instructions when I get back from the factory, and until then, I... Ah, uh, excuse me, sir, but I am not a servant. Well, uh, who are you, then? My name is Kate Walker. I'm a friend of your son, Hans. Look, miss. To my knowledge, Hans has no friends. That boy is a complete misfit. I can assure you I am, Mr. Wahlberg. Miss, the boy who yesterday was my son, today is but a puppet of himself, wound up in his strange obsessions and his queer pet hobbies. That boy only has one friend, and that friend is trouble. Would it be possible to see Hans, please? Impossible. He's being punished in the attic. Sir, it's very important. Miss, Hans has been sent to the attic until further orders. I don't want him getting up to any more harebrained mischief while I'm at the factory. You're going back to the factory, yes? Of course. Like every day. Is Hans going with you? Not on my life. The boy has lost all sense of discipline and method. And discipline and method are the primary qualities of any self-respecting automaton manufacturer. Goodbye, Mr. Wahlberg. Goodbye it is, Miss Walker. Now, go well, this way. Hans is up here in the attic. This door right here, which is locked. Nothing I can do. It's locked. So we need the key to get in there, and the only one that has the key is his father is downstairs, and we have to get his father to leave. When his father leaves, he'll leave the key on the table. Goes this way. Oh, it goes in there. Okay. So now we gotta do is we gotta look at this clock here. We gotta sit to set the clock so that it chimes at 7:15. The clock reads 2:45. What we have to do is we take this. And we set it to 245. And we do this. 
this to both sides. And then we push this so it swings back and forth like a pendulum. If we push this this way, yeah, it, the time will go backwards. So we want time to go forward, so we push this. And what does it read now? I think it read about 450 something. Oh well, take this and we'll push this this way. Well, it's going forward. Now we'll take this and we'll set it to 715. Seven. Fifteen, and we'll strike the gong here. Strike the bell. Come on, leave. And bye. Way too early. It's a little hours early in advance. We'll get the key to the attic. Open the attic door. Don't present the doll, he won't respond. Hans! Hans! It's me, Kate! Hans! Yeah, so you gotta represent the doll. And you give him the doll. Hans, I've got something that might interest you. The mammoth doll. Have you come a long way to be here, Kate Walker? Yeah, you could say. I'm tired now, Kate Walker. I will never see the Isle of Siberia and the Great Mammoths. My life is slipping away. You mustn't say that, Hans. You've got to wake up, do you hear? Wake up! Do you believe that automatons are there to help us in our hour of need? Yeah, sure. This one's called Oscar. I created him. Of course I know Oscar. He's an old friend of mine. I'm very fond of him. Yes, I know. Oscar is worried about you, Hans. You must open his heart for me. Can you do that, Kate Walker? I don't understand, Hans. You've got to wake up now. You've got to come with me. Hans? As soon as we examine the table here, the game will take us back to reality will take us back to the Yuko village. You can explore the rest of the house but there's nothing in it. We'll go back to the Yuko village. state you're in. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> good. Very good. Toot toot. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> good. Very good. Toot toot. 
Hi there. Ah, Miss Kate Walker. I've got to find some way of helping Hans. Late, Miss Walker. Very late. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> ma'am, could you help me? You find help in your dreams, Miss Kate Walker. Oh, I don't know if she's gonna give any more advice or not. Hi there. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> good. Very good. Toot toot. Uh, you're starting over again. Oh well. It's Gamer Lawn signing out. And I don't know what we're gonna do in the next video. But we'll do something to move the storyline along. So until then, folks, take care. And I will talk to you later. Bye, folks. Thanks for watching.